Falls at home by older people are an obvious concern and they account for a high percentage of hospital admissions. Hampshire Fire and Rescue Service's aim is to assist in reducing the demand on health services. Lucy Siegel reports now on one of their falls prevention initiatives, a course designed to help older people be happy, healthy and remain in their home safely. The 12 week course on offer here is the first of its type in the UK to be run by a fire service. It's free of charge for participants and it takes place in fire stations across Hampshire like this one. Hello Nigel, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is very interesting, it looks more like a circuit training than a fire station. Yeah, so we're um, obviously here today with the steer course. It's a great opportunity for us to get people within the community into the fire station and working with our older um, participants in the community to get them to come here and run this unique course at the fire station. The Safety Through Education and Exercise for Resilience programme, STEER, brings members of the community together to learn about changes they can make in their lives to reduce falls and remain safer in their homes. We know that the cost for acute demand in the health service or 999s in a fire service far outweighs that of prevention. As a fire service, we have trained people to deliver prevention messages and prevention activities. They're also trained in physical education. So putting those two things together gives us a really powerful product. And after an initial meet and greet and talk, participants take to the exercise room to increase their strength and balance and build their confidence. Right then guys, stand by, go. This might not be what is perceived to be traditional firefighting, but it is natural territory for the fire service, as steer partner Jackie White from NHS England explains. There are um, significant common risk factors between fire, health and other public services. Um, things like multimorbidity, cognitive impairment, uh, obesity, physical activity, all of those things really contribute to increasing demand on services. So if we work better together, we can do much more effective interventions. The work that we've been doing with the fire and rescue services across the country has uh, really highlighted how effective they can be at identifying people at risk of falls. There is also a strong cost imperative as an ageing population puts pressure on finite resources. It's estimated that um, unaddressed falls hazards cost the NHS approximately £435 million every year um, and emergency admissions for people over 65 approximately 250000 every year so it's a significant impact. If we don't get serious prevention in, in the NHS and with partners we aren't going to be able to sustain the level of support we need to for people as they get older. It's difficult to believe it now, but six months ago, Alex tore the ligaments on her foot and ended up in a wheelchair, losing both her mobility and her confidence. I feel energised and I just love coming on the Friday. Can't wait to do the exercises, although they're quite strong, have to be to make you work your muscles. I think it does everything. We have the social side where we get together and meet each other. We have the presentations which have given us a lot of information. And we've had the exercises which have strengthened parts of us we didn't realise needed strengthening. So that's a thumbs up from the participants, but in order to fine tune STEER and quantify its impact, data is being collected and evaluated. So far, the results seem encouraging. We can only speculate, we haven't got the data, but what is becoming apparent is that the fire service have an ability to target people who wouldn't normally engage with health services. They're able to get to people before they have falls and then engage them in a way that they are really excited and motivated and want to change their lives. STEER seems to be providing the type of positive life change that participant Alex can attest to. I will keep doing the exercises because it has given me back my life. I was an old lady. I don't feel an old lady anymore. <laughs>